Hi, it's Max the Joker's Comedy Club with this week's headliner, Monica Nevy. Hey, that's me. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Tri Cities. <laughs> yes. Great. Uh, so, you've been to Tri Cities before. Anything odd or funny about the Tri Cities that you can think of? Or I love the Tri Cities. Um, I it is funny that I don't think anybody has decided which one is the worst of the three. Everyone, you go to a different one, then they're like, oh, no, it's Kennewick, or that one's Richland, or that one's Pasco. Everybody's got something to say about the other one. So <laughs> I, my favorite is Richland, of course, because that's where Jokers is. But Yeah. yeah. No, Leif Skyving makes kind of a joke about that, about we all get together and, you know, put this all, this fighting in behind us and, and, and go to Yakima and fuck those people up. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A, it usually works. Leif is... Uh, He's here about half the time. He's got a, he's got a uh, little band he's in now, like a little blues uh, band too. Uh, so I nice. think when yeah, you're he here, came and, he yeah. came and visited last time I was there. But yeah, he's going to be here Friday, and but I think he's got oh, something so- going Saturday. So um, cool. Well, he, you know, rock star stuff. Yeah. I guess. Well, yeah. yeah, we've had some good shows, and uh, I think we're getting a lot of pre-sales already for your show. Good. That's exciting. Yeah, I'll uh, make sure everybody knows, but. Um, you know, this time of year is good. Come inside. Why would you want to be outside? It's terrible outside. Come inside. Yeah. yeah Come laugh. Not much to do in the, especially when the snow is melting, too. It's, yeah, there you go. <laughs> they can drive, but they can't play. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> so have you had, uh, like, any bad experiences on the, on the road? You probably have, like, some worst show or worst club or something like that experience. That oh, yeah. About. I mean, I've been doing it for a long time, 13 years, just this last week, I think. And so um, there's always going to be some some weird ones, some bad ones. Um, I think the weirdest I've had was, I, you know, you do a lot of casinos. You guys are part casino, too. But, or a little um, casino. So, yeah, a little casino. Um, <laughs> but I've played at some bigger ones, right? And sometimes mm-hmm. it's it's out where people are gambling and whatnot. And so was doing a show and there was people there but nobody was sitting in the seating area like everyone was sitting in this back balcony area and you couldn't hear them so it just looked like I was performing for zero people and that's what it sounded like to me because they were so far away and so eventually I was like hey I can see you but are you and they're like yeah you're doing you're doing great and I'm like am I I have no idea so I (laughs) asked them I was like I was like, why aren't you sitting up here? There's all these seats. And they're like, oh, we're not allowed to smoke cigarettes down there. And I was like, <laughs> okay. The only reason they were sitting back there is because they were allowed to smoke cigarettes in that area. And it was, I mean, I, they seemed to enjoy it afterwards. But during, it was like just talking to a wall. I mean, especially timing wise, I was just uh, hoping, just waiting a little bit to be like, I, I think they're laughing back there, but I can't hear them. So there you go. Uh, One good thing about our our room is everybody should be here for comedy. They're not always, but I know some of the places they have a separate room. Yeah. Oh, big. There's a lot of places that are doing it in the bar, you know. Yeah. And And some people don't know what's happening. And I've had that a lot. I mean, when I first started, I did a show that was in a bar where like no one knew it was going on. And I think people were upset that there was a show and so they just (laughs) were talking loud on purpose so the few people that were there for the show i had them start doing like thumbs up if they liked the joke because i couldn't even hear them laugh because the bar was so loud so (laughs) (laughs) funniest right dealing with adversity and dealing with the pain the everyday suffering (laughs) sometimes yeah when you get when i think that's why stand-up can be so relatable is that you know a lot of it comes from the observational stuff of life and everybody's kind of going through a lot of the same stresses and struggles sometimes. And so at some point you got to laugh or if you haven't laughed at it yet and that comedian says, Hey, I'm going through this thing. And you're like, Oh my gosh, I haven't thought about that. Then maybe it brings a little bit of levity to the situation. Yeah. yeah. So folks, you don't want to miss this weekend, Friday and Saturday at seven 30, uh, Monica yeah. Nebby, one of our, one of our special comedians that uh, is going to come this weekend. Yes, I'm excited to be there. Hope to see everybody there. And let me...